Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, in this episode, I think we're going to get started with setting up our first major, um, and probably even our biggest, and at least in terms of sales, uh, production chain, and that's going to be fusion cores, fusion cells, rather. Um, so let's see, we had three things unlock uh, in between now, uh, or the previous episode and now. We had the uh, tier five heater. The fish farm. And what I've been waiting for, the tier two gas extractor. So we are now poised to uh, to get, get going with some major production facilities, production chains and whatnot. Um, let's see, up here, I have made several uh, bee larvae and some silkworm too. In fact, let's actually go ahead and take the silkworm and make another uh, silk generator. So we need a zeal, a water, and an O2 capsule. Grab a water from here and a zeal from here. Do I have any zeal? Yeah, I've got some zeal in overflow too. And I'm going to put this guy right here next to the constructor or the autocrafter. I mean, we'll put a, another one here and eventually two more here. <clears throat> um, just so we can keep the, the cloth production going. Uh, I have made an entire bin of explosives, almost an entire bin of bioplastic. Uh, almost an entire bin of fertilizer too. Fertilizer one's a little bit low because we've been using that, but um, yeah, we got a full bin of that, a full bin of sulfur. I mean, everything is just completely stocked up for the most part. Um, I started little eggs and plankton um, bins here, but the plankton comes in pretty quick. Uh, one thing I ha <clears throat> seem to have noticed is that I'm not really seeing larva around much anymore, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, never mind. I was, <laughs> I don't know. I was looking all over for for some um, when I logged off last night before I went to bed in real life, and I, I didn't see any anywhere. But um, we just found one, so maybe I'm just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> uh, all right. So we have in. Here, um, our cooking station blueprint, microchip, and our tier two locker. Those came back in the rocket. When that rocket did return, right now it's off um, selling him a batch of cloth for us. Uh, it brought brought back the, yeah, there's a larva there too. It brought back the um, plants fuse that I had purchased. And as soon as I came down, I went and grabbed it and put it down in the, um, the optimizer there. Uh, but I, I wanted to do the blue uh, the blue chips. There's, there I go again, blue chips. The microchip um, blue chips. I'm not wrong when I say blue chips. They are blue. See? That's color blue. Um, on camera with you guys. So let's go ahead and... Oh. Well, we just made 200 more terror tokens. Nice. So do I just... How do I use this? Do I... Oh, I, I probably just do it the normal way, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that baby tier two locker storage. That's just amazing. And then I never actually made the cooking station in season one. So I don't even know exactly what this does. Is it possible that we can actually make something besides just food in a pouch with this thing? I don't know. Let's see if we can find out. Where the hell did it go? Um, Here it is. Circuit board and a super. All right, so how big is it? It's that big. Um, we probably want to put this in here. Oh, and I did swap out my tier one food processors for some tier twos, as you can see there. Uh, I think we need to turn it this way. Okay, so let's just put this right here. And, oh, we can make food 
Oh, this is awesome, you guys. Fish soup. Reduces oxygen consumption for a small period. Okay. Reduces thirst. Ooh, that's nice. Reduces thirst. First birthday cake. Nice. We can actually sell chocolate chip cookies. A croissant. They restore 75 health. Uh, wheat and cocoa. And the high quality food. That's seven terra. That's nine. <laughs> okay. That's a possible production facility. Uh, I like the idea of this though, man. Mostly because thirst is still the only thing we really need to concern ourselves with. And uh, I wonder how much thirst in for how small of a period. I don't know, but I'm very interested in trying that out. Does this the guy have... Hmm. It doesn't seem to have a... Like a, a supply and demand menu. So that kind of sucks. Is it... Yeah, see, it's not picking up the beans, the eggplant, the squash... Let me try something, just out of curiosity. I'm gonna actually... The music seems awfully loud for some reason. Let's turn that down a bit. I love the music, but I don't know. It seems louder today for some reason. <laughs> okay, so this bin here is loaded up with, you know, uh, all the different food stuff so that I can craft things with the auto crafter. If I put this next to here, Nope. Okay, so you... You have to really do this manually? Seriously? Does the auto crafter... Did, did that open up um, those recipes on the auto crafter now that I made the thing? Uh, no, what am I doing? Go up here. Oh, it did. Okay, good. It did. All right, because I'm, I'm trying to think of my brain. It's like, well, how, how in the hell would you create a production line if you have to manually make this stuff? I mean, you could, but who wants to mess around doing that? All right, this is cool. So this will actually make this stuff for us because it can pull from that bin. Nice. Yeah, let's just make a batch of this. Honey cooked beans. Let's make like four of them. Ah, now we can make our own Lerma. That's good. All right, and then we'll turn that off. Now, this doesn't... That doesn't give us any hydration. It just reduces our thirst. There we go, insect spreader rocket. I was kind of waiting for that, too. All right, so... That means this is kind of mostly a decoration. A cool one, though. So we will put it here, but we probably won't really use it that much. We'll probably just use the auto crafter when we want to make stuff like that, especially if we're going to do a production line. But it is pretty neat looking though. We got a sink and a, a stove with some burners, space burners. That's what space burners look like if you guys never knew, right? Now you know, space burners. Got like the big one and the little ones. I wonder if they're hard to clean. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and let's actually eat one of these. And it gives us this little thirst icon thingamadoodle. Hmm. Um, I mean, it, all that's telling me is that it's active, but it's not telling me, you know, how much it's doing for us. So I'm, we'll have to trust that it's, it's making a difference <laughs> in some way, shape or form. Uh, okay, so what does it take to make the tier two storage? It's two supers in a circuit board. All right. Um, I might, I haven't decided for sure yet, but I might replace all of these with the tier twos. Uh, we're not going to do it in one fell swoop because that would be really expensive, but we might kind of slowly over time uh, make those replacements. Uh, another thing that I think I did off camera, I don't think I did this one I, in the last episode, is I made a tier 3 extractor. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to tell it to get whatever ore I'm low on, in this case silicon. 
Um, and then, of course, you know, our drone buddies are taking care of making sure everything's well stocked. So right at the moment, I have two full chests of silicon. But earlier, of course, I was low on that stuff. All right, so let's see, circuit boards. We have uh, 18, we have 18 of those so far. Super alloy is not an issue. We've got tons and tons of it, especially, you know, if we break down the bars. Um, so I have to just kind of think about what our first maneuver is. Actually, let's look at this for a minute. If we go to here, I would really like to get the tier two beehive before we do our food farm. And we have to first get the tier two munition, which I'm, by the way, I also need that for, you know, some stuff. And the T5 drill is not too far away. Um, so that's going to be cool too. We'll, we'll go ahead and put down, you know, a couple tier five heaters and drills, not because we need heat or pressure so much as we just need overall, um, you know, we still need to just continue overall working on our terraformation. Um, because this is, you know, we just barely rolled over to TTI trillion, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and this is like five times that, um, you know, and, and things of course will continue to increase exponentially to some extent, but this is still a long ways off, even though there's only three icons to it. So yeah, we'll put some more pressure down and we'll put some more of uh, uh, heat down for the purpose of TI itself. So, yeah, what do we need to make the insect rocket? Let's do that first so we can kind of give that a boost and get to that tier two beehive. So we'll hop out here. Um, okay, yeah, let's pin that. Oh, shit, you're going to use three bee larvae? Hmm. I mean, all the bee larvae that I made, I'm, I'm, you know, I have on hold for our farms that we're going to make. I guess since we're not doing that immediately, though, and since that will get us to the tier two beehive more quickly. I, oh, hi, drone. I guess, I guess we'll do that. And I'll just have to make three more. Uh, so let's grab three bee larvae. Oh, shit. Is that a tier two mutagen? Mm, I can't make those yet. I can actually make tier ones, tier threes, and can I make tier, tier fours yet? Yeah, but I can't make I can't make the tier two because it's in in the insect tree, and that's at, well at least for me anyways for my first playthrough and this one. Insects are usually a little further behind, so it's kind of weird how they did that. Well, all right, I guess we. W we won't be doing that uh, because I have no way to make a tier two mutagen. Damn it, Jim. Well, that'll save our bees anyways. Uh, you need to be making cloth for us. Huzzah. All right. Well, we'll just let, we'll just let the insects, you know, uh, here we go. Build up as they build up. It would probably still be a good idea, though, to make three more bees, so when the time does come, um, we can use we can do the insect rocket. So yeah, let's see. We need a normal muti for that, and a an, uh, normal furt, and we'll just we'll make three more bees. There we go. Okay, I've got to think about a couple of things here. In season one, we set up our fusion core production facility. Well, more specifically, our, our, our pulsar quartz facility over there because it was kind of in a central location uh, for, for all of the um, extractors. And I don't... I can't really think of any good reason not to do that again. Um, so I think we will. And we also built a, a two by two structure to house that in. And that's also something we can do again. 
So that's the that's three iron, three titanium, and two supers. Do I have any iron? Yeah, okay. Three iron. Is this a super storm? Yeah. You know, I don't really care about super storms anymore. Other, they're, they're loud as hell. Uh, but we don't really need them. You know, because we, we've got a really huge supply of super alloy now. God damn it, that's loud. Hold on. Um, audio. Sound effects? Yeah, we got to turn that down. That is just incredibly loud. It's like not proportionate to other meteor storms. Of course, there's a bunch of them falling at the same time, so maybe it maybe it is realistic, but that doesn't change the fact that it blows my eardrums out. Okay, we have everything for the building. Uh, we're going to need a door, of course, so that means we need another titanium. Uh, we need a silicon and another iron. Okay, so that gives us the door and the facility. We're going to want... We're going to want to put a teleporter over there. So let's just grab, uh, whoops, uh, let's grab our teleporter here. And I'll put aside, you know, stuff for another one later. And then we need, uh, we're going to need f four of these for receiving the ore. And... I'll probably, what I should probably do is just put a, a, a separate trade rocket over there. Um, and that way the drones can just fill the rocket up as the fusion cells are being made. Um, oh yeah, and we're going to need the, the tier two gas extractor too, as one of the ingredients. And I might even set a couple of those up. Let's start with one, though. Um, we don't need to keep that pinned, so let's go back to here. Tier 2 gas extractor will pin that. Okay, so we need another circuit board. And we need another Zeo. An Iridium and two more supers. Iridium rod, to be precise. And two more super dupers. That'll get our hut down. That'll get our first tier two gas extractor down. Um, and our teleporter. We still have room for more stuff. So, um, we, oh yeah, we have to put the auto crafter down, of course. So what does that require? Auto crafter, wherefore art thou? Here you are. So two Oz's and another super rod. One, two Oz and another super rod. And I might even put, you know, get two auto crafters going at the same time at some point. Oh, wait a minute. No, we need, we actually need two of these because we need one to make the pulsar crystal and one to make the fusion cells. Hmm, what do the fusion cells require again? Okay. Yeah, I might have to set up an obsidian bin out there too and have the drones just keep it supplied. We have this one, but this one is for stuff, you know, for us to do here in the base. Okay, so yes, that does mean we need two auto crafters. Let's see, one of those to get the water thing. It's just cool that we, we can actually make other kinds of food besides just the, <laughs> you know, the, the MRE stuff. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's let's see here. We got we got the building, we got the door, we got two autocrafters, we got the teleporter, and the gas extractor. The first of what will probably be two, maybe even more. 
now we just need to bring stuff to make the storage. All right, so let's see. Where is the storage? Let's pin that. So that's going to be circuit board and two supers. All right, so we need osmium, iridium, uranium, and... Oh, shit. I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, oh zeolite. Right. Let me double check that. Yeah. Uh, and methane. So so we need five storage thingies. Well, no, the methane can be pulled directly from the from the gas um, extractor. Unless we wanted to want to put one in there for a buffer, which we probably should do. Um, okay, so that means, yeah, we need five. So that means we need five circuit boards and ten super alloy. And we're not going to have room for that. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just head over there and we'll do, we'll come back and do the bins later. Oh, okay. So that little water icon has a gauge that, that's going down. So at least we can see how much time we have on it. Let's just eat a bean to top that off. And we have an extra water in there. Okay. All right, let's head on over there. Now, uh, now my uh, sound effect volume is a little too low, so let's bump this back up. Well, we'll put it on 90. That's better. We gotta replant our forest here soon. We're mostly done with it for, um, well, actually, I guess I shouldn't say that. I, got, I have to go back and take a look and see what else we need for plants, specifically. Okay, so we built our facility right on the shore of this lake last time. And I think we will do that again. Because why the hell not, right? Um... Yeah, that should work. All right, so we're going to. I think we'll put the gas extractors on the roof. And my plan is to put multiple up here eventually. So we'll try and get it so it's about there. And we want to set you to get methane. That's all we need you to get. Yeah, this only has eight slots. So we definitely, I think, are going to want to have more than one of those when it's all said and done. Let's build our first auto crafter here. And we'll put that in this corner. And we're going to set this to make pulsar quartz. Um, and you demand, well, yeah, we don't, I don't think we have to put a demand on here because it'll just pull directly from the storage units that we put up. Okay. Let's put our teleporter. Uh, where do we want to put the teleporter? Let's just put it here for now. Um, I guess I shorted myself a zeolite. Uh, is it going to be faster to go in the cave or faster to go? Yeah, probably in the cave. Unless we can find one in a root somewhere, but I typically harvest those as soon as I see them. So there probably isn't any nearby in the path that we normally would travel, but there might be. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I found the golden chest in the canyon. <laughs> I, I haven't looted it yet. I want to do that on camera, but uh, I've been looking for that for a bit. I finally found it. And no, I didn't look it up. I actually legit found it. In case you were wondering.
This is, uh, yeah, this is for the teleporter, so. Let's put this in this corner for now. And we're going to call this, um, fusion cell production. Oh, I guess we're out of, okay, we'll just do prod. I guess we're out of space there. <clears throat> Excellent. All right. Um, we need a second auto crafter. Uh, right here. And we'll set that next to you. And you will make fusion cells. Okay, so we're going to need Oz for both fusion cells and for pulsar quartz. So we're probably going to need to double up on Osmium. I'm thinking. So that means we need a total of seven storage units. Because we need... Osmium, zeolite, iridium, uranium, methane. That's five. Osmium again for six and obsidian for seven. And um, I'll just let it pull the pulsar quartz directly out of here. So I don't think we need a buffer for that because this probably won't fill up before this... It, I don't think this will get ahead of that. And if it does, you know, then we'll then we'll set up a buffer for that as well. Okay, so seven seven crates is what we need. Um, hopefully, I have that many circuit boards, and we need osmium for that too. So let's just go grab a load of osmium, or not osmium. I'm sorry, um, super. So let's go grab that right now. Did we ever go in the desert ship to get the circuit boards? I think we did, but I guess I'm not 100% certain about that. Let's poke our head in there and just see. I think we did go back in there and just loot the crates. We still haven't done the fusion, you know, the big safe yet. Is there anything in here? Uh-uh. Um, tell you what. Let's just temporarily stick those in there. All right, we're looking for servers. We may have come in here to grab them. I just don't remember. I'm starting to think maybe we did. All right, let's go check the other side. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down here. Yeah, I think those compartments there had servers in them and we went and we came in and got them. Pretty sure that that's the case. While we're here, how many cells do you need? Oh, only one. Okay, good. Only one cell for that. Yeah, this was the hidden room that we finally found. And I think those compartments had servers in them as well. All right. Well... Now we know. Here, we'll pick you up. All right, let's grab all of this. And we'll go back to the base and see if we can make seven tier two storage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And we need 14 alloy and we have 15, so we should be good to go on that. Uh, let's just put this extra one in overflow. Okay. So let's do, let's get started with putting these down. We'll put the first one here. No. Didn't quite get that one lined up right. All right, so you're going to be, uh, actually, no, let's do it this way. Let's make you, um, zeolite. You can be uranium. You can be iridium. Uh, whoops. Wait, no. There. Um, you can be zeolite, uranium, iridium, uh, methane. You can be obsidian. And the last two will be osmium. Okay. Now, you demand zeolite. You demand uranium. You demand iridium. You demand methane. You demand obsidian you demand osmium and you demand osmium okay so the drones should start start working on um, getting these guys filled up now and as soon as this gets all its ingredients, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's got the gas extractor in range, which should already be producing methane for us. Oh, it's already full. Wow, that thing's fast. Uh, maybe one of those could keep up. I don't know. We'll, have to, we'll just have to keep an eye on it, I suppose. We're probably going to have to put in another osmium extractor to keep up with those. Um, yeah, so we should probably do that next, actually. We want to, uh, we'll put a rocket over here. We don't need to do that immediately, but we'll need to do it fairly soon and set it up to cell fusion cells. All right, let's go back to the base. What do we need to make another... Extractor. Right here. Alright, so we need an Oz rod. Super rod. Iridium rod. And some titanium. There we go. Okay, let's go set up a second osmium extractor. How's our power? Oh, that's right. We, we put that fuse down. We got so much power, we don't know what to do with it. Um, while we're here, let's let's do another bee larva. So we have three for the rocket when the time comes. And six for... No. Yeah, six for... One... Hold on. One, two, three, four. Four, four farms. Eight larvae for four farms. Okay. 
grab a muti, a ferdy. Nice, the drones are getting that filled back up for us. Love those drones, man. They're hardworking dudes. Okay. Um, let's go get some more food. Maybe we'll eat one of these and then top off with um with the mushroom, because why not? Funny that you can't drink while you're underwater. In some survival games, just by going under the water. What the hell was that? Hmm. Thought I saw something there. Something out of the ordinary. Um in some survival games, just by submerging it automatically fills your thirst. I think Ark Survival Evolved does that, and I think Icarus does as well. All right, let's put a second one of you down. Set you to Oz, and set you as a uh, yeah supplier of Oz. There we go. Okay. So now, we just wait for a bit, keep an eye on it, and see, uh, you know, how well things are keeping up. And if we notice a, a bottleneck, you know, then we just adjust from there. Look at the drones working. They're going for it, man. We might even have uh, already started our first pulsar quartz. Busy guys. Not quite yet. Okay. Wow. They already got that loaded up pretty good. Iridium is good. Iridium is good. Oh, you know what? My bad. I forgot to set this. Uh, I mean, the extractor can still pull directly from it, but I also want to put it in the chest, you know, to buffer it as well. And here, let's let's actually move this first batch ourselves so we can start making more. So what does it not have? The, uh, it's got... Wait a minute. It's got everything. How come it's not making... I'm confused. <laughs> that should be making crystal right now. Or do we... Oh, osmium. It doesn't have any osmium yet. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, what the hell, man? I mean, I don't expect it to have obsidian quite yet because that's the furthest, you know, away that it has to go. And it doesn't need obsidian for the crystals anyways, just for the fusion cells. It's the Oz. Okay. Um... Probably we have some drones working on that. But what we could do is run over there and grab a batch just to kind of prime it a little bit. There's really no way that I'm aware of that you can, you know, direct the tier one drones. And I, I, don't, know, I don't even know what the hell the tier one drone or tier two drone does. We'll buy one and check it out at some point. Um, maybe it can carry more stuff or something, but the tier one drones, they're, you know, they're autonomous. You can't, they just do whatever the game tells them to do. Okay. So we'll help prime this here, uh, with this extra Oz. There we go. Our first Pulsar Quartz. How did it already have three made? I wonder if uh, a drone... I don't know. 
It already had three made when I looked in there. Okay, now, next thing is we need to get a, a sales rocket going. Oh, okay, so what do we need for that? We need those things. Three circuit boards. Uh, where are we going? They get turned around. One, two, three circuit boards. Super rod. A uranium rod. And a rocket engine. Do we have any of those? No, we're going to have to make a rocket engine. That is going to require an iridium, two uraniums, and a super. Iridium rod to be precise. Two uranium, and let's use this super that we put over in the thingy here. Okay, we have everything to make another trade rocket. Where do we want to put you? Let's see if we can put you over here. You don't like to go in the water, eh? Why not? Um... All right, I guess that works. Set you to enable and you demand uh, fusion cells. Here we go. Okay, that's backed up because it's waiting for obsidian. So maybe we better do a buffer for the crystal as well. Because otherwise it's just going to sit there and halt everything. We, you know, once the obsidian comes in, it might be able to keep up with it. But the drones do have to travel a long ways to get obsidian. And there's nothing I can do about that because it's just how far away it is, right? Uh, okay, yeah. So let's go back home. And we're going to need to make another storage bin. Tier 2 storage. So we're getting really low on circuit boards. We might have to go uh, do some more looting. Let's eat that. Stop it. My brain decided to take a nap for a second there. Okay, this is going to be quartz. Oh, pulsar quartz, rather. Alright, you demand pulsar quartz. Ah, look at that. They've already made three. Okay, you supply fusion energy cells. Now, it's also very possible, in fact, almost guaranteed now, the more they think about it, that these will get backed up when the rocket's making a trip. Um, Because, you know, it takes, what, 10, 15 minutes? So that means we really probably should also have a, a buffer for the fusion cells, too. So let's do that as well. We got the, you know, we got the materials to do it, so we might as well do it. And then we don't have to worry about it. Uh, nope, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? Um, yep, they're all, 
already have drones assigned to take them to the rocket. Okay, so we are up and running, guys. I think um, yeah, that's a decent amount of obsidian. Methane is potentially going to be a bottleneck, so I think we better make another one of these. Uh, okay, so uh, where is that at here? Okay, let's go back and get the stuff for that. I kind of figured that would be the case, you know, with the methane. I'm like so turned around in my base. Give me a circuit board, two Zeos, and an iridium rod. There we go. Come on, get up there. Let's put two down and then we'll see how that does. And if we have to add more, then we'll add more. We can certainly do that. Okay, you make methane and you supply methane. Okay, we'll see how that does. So you already have four in there. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's grab one of these back out of here and let's go do the desert ship. Big safe. But I think I think that's pretty much it for now. You know, we just gotta let it run. And we'll periodically, you know, check back on it to see if, you know, if there's bottlenecks and and adjust as needed. Oh, look at this. Chevron? No, a Neri. Butterfly larva. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. That's that 600%. This doesn't look anything like it did on the ground, but I'm not complaining. Uh, we need more uncommons for bees and stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and just knock out the big safe on this ship, and then we'll be completely done with this ship. Okay. Uh, don't see anything opened up up here. Oh, yep. Both of these opened up. Okay, let's see what's in here. More servers for circuit boards. Another energy multiplier fuse. That's beautiful. Okay. Good stuff. More genetic traits. Tier 4 mute. A thousand Terra tokens. That's pretty damn nice. Because uh, usually in the crates, they're only like 100s. That's actually really good. And here's the safe. Take that down. Check you first. 100 Terra tokens. have room for two more things so we'll grab two more circuit boards and then we'll come back and get the rest of it I'm just gonna stick all this stuff in here for now enough uh, we still have our water on us right that's the one thing we still got to keep keep uh, at all times okay let's grab these two circuit boards and now for the big safe another energy multiplier fuse wow that is so nice Okay, we got a 100, a 1,000, a 500, 100, 100, 100, 500. 
100 and another microchip. Three Osmium rods too. That's pretty damn good. Um, but this is this is really the kind of the grand prize in here, I think. Can we break these down? Nope, we can't. Okay. Good stuff, man. Good stuff indeed. So next time we run out of power, um, we just pop another fuse in. And we uh, we we actually have a, a tier two there with three fuse slots and we're only have we only have one fuse in it so far. I mean I suppose we can pop them both in. Yeah, there's no really not really any reason not to, right? Okay, let's grab that. I mean I'm gonna take it all back, but uh, we'll grab the rocket engines. Ooh, that's cool. All right. Uh, we'll take these and these and this and that. Uh, the rest of this stuff is not super critical, but we'll take the bacteria, and then I'll come back for that someday, maybe. Someday, maybe. Yeah, we might as well just throw these fuses in the in the optimizer right now. I'm just curious to see how much power it's going to actually give us. All right, how much you got now, man? All right, well, you got five. It's working. So, so far, you are using the pulsar quartz as soon as they're made. Uh, do we have, oh yeah, okay, we, we got a decent amount of obsidian now. So I still think, you know, just looking at all this, I still think methane is, um, well, methane and osmium appear to be the two things that are kind of slowing us down. So I think maybe two more methane uh, gas producers, producers are in order and maybe even another osmium extractor too. Okay, where the hell am I at? Right now we have 3466. And you know what else I'm going to do too, just because I can? Uh, let's put these circuit boards away. And we'll put the Oz rods away. Well, as many as we can. The rockets can go in MISC. Let's do the microchip there's our tier 4 GPS satellite okay we'll throw that up into space here in a little bit iridiums can go there supers can go in there uh, iridium is going to go in there okay I'll worry about the rest of that stuff later so what I want is I'm going to put up one more fusion generator so we have an even number of them just because I like symmetry. And then we'll pop this fuse in. And our power is just gonna go bonkers. There we go. All right, this is gonna be one of those deals where I can't see the scene because it's too dark. Yeah, that's close enough, I think. Okay. So, what what did we say? We said we had like 36-something. Plus, we added another, four, let's say, 1,500. So, let's just say we're, we're at roughly 5,000 power right now. Actually, I guess I was fairly close. So, yeah, 55, let's we'll just say 5,500. Okay. Put two more of these in. And they should be hitting all eight of these because this can handle up to eight. Didn't I just pick you up? All right, let's go see what it is now. 
41,000. My goodness. Yowzers. <laughs> That's a lot of power, guys. 41,168. I don't think we have to worry about power for a while. I think we're in pretty damn good shape on power for a bit. Okay, let's put uh, you guys in here. And um, we need to make one more B. So we'll grab you. That's a tier four muty. And um, we already have a fertilizer that we looted, so that's good. So let's do you, you, and you. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. And then we'll do the, we'll do the, oh no, that, we don't need to do that larva. It's already done. So we just need to build a butterfly thingamadoodle for it. Let's put uh, you, a tier three mutagen in here. Bacteria is full. Okay. So we'll put bacteria in overflow as well as this, because I don't have a home for those things yet. It's all water. Let's pull the iron out of here. We'll put the back in there. And the iron... Overflow five. Yeah, we'll put that in there along with... Do we... Do we have a full? Yeah, we do have a full obsidian chest. Okay, nice. And I guess we'll just stick these guys in here for now, too. Put a couple of plants away. Let's make a butterfly farm. Which is here. T2, a Zeo, and a bioplastic. T2 fertilizer, that is. And we'll stick you right here. Where did you go? Right here. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Gives us a nice insect boost. Speaking of which, just let, uh, let's take a look here. Insects. Yeah, we still got a ways to go, man. The we have to do fifty thousand just to get to the tier tier two mutagen. Um, which I think I need to make the insect rocket. And this is what I'm really wanting to get to, and that's two hundred twenty-five thousand. So yeah, we're uh, yeah, it's a ways out yet, but that's okay. Uh, this is a 1,200 larva. Dang. The one we just put in there, I think, was a 1,000, wasn't it? No, it's only 600. Okay, well, that'll definitely help boost our insects. Question is, can we make it? No, we need a freaking Tier 2 mutagen. <laughs> That's what's killing us. Hey, look at that. We got our tier five drill. Amazing. Okay. Well, unless we can find a tier two mutagen and some loot, we're pretty much kind of at a standstill for insects until, you know, we're just going to have to let it build up over time. Not much else we can do about it. Um, but at least we have the larva now. Um, well, actually, is that was that the main thing we needed for the insect rocket? I don't remember now. Let's go take a quick look-see. And we, ha we have to remember to make another... Um, yikes. We have to remember to make another... Uh, two more, actually, methane or gas producers. No, it needs... Yeah, see, it needs the damn tier two mutagen. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, next time we come across a tier two mutagen in loot... We're going to launch the rocket because that's going to give us a lot more gain than a single 1200% butterfly, even though that's pretty damn amazing because the rocket's going to apply to everything that's making insects. 
So we just have to wait to find one in loot, or we have to wait till it unlocks, which is going to be a while. It's just the way that it is, man. Um, look at that. We got over 5,000 coin. Um, let's grab one of you and one of you. Get topped off on the food. Okay, we just had another cloth delivery. Um, what do we want to buy now? Oh, shit. I don't know why the hell they don't let you look at that when the rocket's gone. You should still be able to look at it. Let's go to the other one. I mean, what's up with that, man? For the love of Pete. Oh, that's right. We're going to do another methane thingy, weren't we? Well, it's got a little bit of stock in there now. I still think we need more of those, though. All right, let's look at this. Uh, we have 5,000... Well, we have 5,600 coin. I don't know what smart fabric is for. We'll figure it out. The customizable sofa and bed we'll worry about later when we do our house. Um, a rosea tree seed. 500% fish eggs. Production mold. Oh, yeah, we should... We should set up some production multiplier fuses because we have those. We could do... Yeah. Oh, these are expensive. Okay. Really? 20,000 coin for a fountain? Are you serious? What the hell? I want to get this, man. I think that's what we'll, we'll live in when the time comes. But we... I mean, the money's going to come in. It's going to start coming in like crazy once we really get going here. But uh, not quite yet. So... Yeah, I guess there's... I would buy this right now or this. But we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer before we have the coinage to do that. Unless we, you know, go ahead another big safe, which is certainly an option. But not in this episode, because we are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, shit. Let's get undercover. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to build two more... Uh, methane uh, or gas thingies. Why did I come here? Gonna take me anywhere. And get those set down. Um, where for art thou? Here you are. Oh, did I already have that pinned? Maybe I did. And um, then I'll just kind of keep an eye on our, you know, our, our production and see what needs to be adjusted as time goes on. Need four zeolite and two iridium rods. And I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode. I mean, there's still a million things to do, a million fun things to do. Um, as far as production facilities go, I want to, you know, we want to do the food farm, but I'm, I, I could set it up with the tier one beehives and we'd be fine, but I think I want to hold out, you know, cause it's not like we're hurting for food. Um, I want to hold out for the tier two beehives for that. And I'll have to think about what other types of production we, we might want to set up. Uh, we could maybe do a circuit board production just because, you know, we need so many of those things. Um, we could do a rocket production. I mean, if we look at this. Or this. Yeah. What else is, you know, what's the next most valuable thing after fusion? So fusion are 80. Circuit boards are 25. Rockets are 13. I wish we had more options for selling stuff, you know? Um, I mean, Pulsar Quartz is, is worth just as much as Circuit Boards. What do we... Yeah, we, we need more stuff to sell, man. Um, a circuit board, what does that take? Yeah, 
Yeah, because here's the thing. The bioplastic nugget is an its own product. So first we would have to set up a production chain to make that. And then we'd have to make the circuit boards. Whereas the pulsar quartz, everything is everything is first level stuff to make this. We don't have to make an intermediate product and it sells for the same. So it doesn't really make sense in my mind to make circuit boards for the purpose of selling. We could just make another pulsar quartz lineup. Um, to, you know, to automate them a little bit just so we have them, uh, definitely makes sense to do that, but not for selling purposes. Um, at least that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, right. We got to get these things set up, don't we? Put one in this corner. Methane and you supply methane. Oh, let's see right here. Okay. I'm thinking that's probably going to. Yeah, because we're already actually building up a little bit of it here. You know what, though? I'll bet you they brought that over from the main base. Now that I think about it. Yeah, that's probably what they did. But that's okay. So osmium is still kind of a bottleneck, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to need to put up some more osmium extractors. Just because we're using so much of it, you know. It's really, in fact, if you think about it, it's a ratio of three to one compared to everything else because these are just using one of each thing. Whereas this is using two osmium. So, yeah, it's a three to one. So that means, I mean, theoretically, right, we should have three extractors going for osmium. So we'll do that. All other things being equal, that is. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to let you go here. Uh, we are almost all the way to mammals, too. My goodness. <laughs> Things are just cranking along, uh, you know, overall. And then, of course, mammals will be brand spanking new um, to me and to anybody else that hasn't gotten this far in the game or watched anybody else. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's all going to work. It's going to be fun. We'll be able to make our own animals. It's going to be cool. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.